Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my learning the SP mod series. And basically, I tuned this car a little bit off episode. Um, I had a little practice with it. And to be honest, it felt weird compared to like normal R Factor, if you know what I mean. Uh, but you've got to get used to that, seeing as it is a different mod. It's going to have different physics, going to have different that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to jump onto the Kamikaze Raceway, uh, the Race Factor Drifters. Uh, basically, because it's an easy track, you can flow, there's some long corners as well, so you can tune for the long corners. Um, so it's a very good all rain track, especially for if you like overshoot a corner, there's nothing really there to kind of hurt you, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I've done a quick little quick little tune, um, I will go through it, using the Ventus tyres R3S3s, uh, R3S3s, R-S3, okay. Um, general, I changed up the gear in a tiny bit. Um, I probably will change it around some more. Put the rev limit all the way to the top. Uh, rear downforce to one. Changed the weight around a bit because I was throwing it into corners and it just didn't. It just felt like it had too much weight in the rear. Um, so I downed that a tiny bit as well. Um, put the steering lock up to maximum. Uh, brakes and the differential are down to 55, 50, no 50 and 50. Uh, I think that's gone up to 50, 50. I think it's on like 20 a stock. Um, so I'm up in the differential there. I've uh, changed around the suspension a tiny bit. I changed the bump rebound um, here. Made it a little bit stiffer as well because I like my cars a lot stiffer. Made it a little bit softer and a little bit lower in the rear as well. Um, advanced didn't really change much there. Um, so that's pretty much the bass tune I gave it. Sounds crazy. <laughs> it sounds absolutely crazy. Um, so let's get this going. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's roll this car round the place, yo. Okay, first corner went really bad. The uh, force feedback feels really light. Well, I don't know why that is. It felt really heavy yesterday. Okay, my force feedback is fucked. What the hell? Let me just check the settings quickly. Um, monitor, settings, um, controls. Yeah, force feedback. Yeah, force feedback. Why is it on 28? I think it was on like 35 yesterday. But let's go to 32 to see if that changes anything. Because um, that felt really, really light. Um, I did have to down my force feedback on this mod for some reason. Um, it felt absolutely crazy. It felt crazy. Um, so let's let's get drift in this car now. Okay, let's try and get used to this. And this was with all exactly the same mods as I done last episode. So if you're wondering if I chucked in like more power, less power. It's all exactly the same, so it does feel a little bit powerful, if you know what I mean. Like, if I floor it, I most probably will spin out, uh, which is a problem. Um, I don't know how I'm going to tune it to kind of counter that, um, or I could just take out the power and put it down into less power, uh, which will cure that probably as well. Uh, but yeah, once you get used to this car, it does feel alright. Um, obviously, it is different physics to normal kind of R Factor uh, Project D kind of mod, um, so you kind of have to get used to it. Uh, but once you do, it is it is very very good. Like this car is crazy when you when you get it on the sweet spot where you've been warming up and stuff like that. Uh, it is crazy, but on transitions, I'm struggling. Um, I don't know if anyone can help me on transitions, uh, but I, I lift off. I try not to give it anything. And the rear just comes flying round. It's absolutely crazy. So I'm, I'm thinking about uh, putting more weight in the front. Um, see if that helps with a little bit less weight in the rear. So it doesn't fly around too much um, in the rear. But obviously, if you put... I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Because um, I'm trying to think of it kind of like literally. Like if you have more weight in the rear, it's going to want to go that way more, surely. Or I suppose if you're lighter, it's going to go that way a little bit easier. I don't know. Um, we could also take out some weight in the rear just to see what happens. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to do that often. Maybe this lap. See if I can get used to this tune maybe. Uh, but this is probably the best tune I've come up with so far. 
Um, I don't know if anyone has a tune out there that they want to share with me, maybe, that um, works uh, for them. Um, so I could try that and see where I'm going wrong. Uh, but in terms of R Factor SP mod, I don't really know in terms of tuning, so I'm not going to admit like I've done a sick tune and stuff like that. Like to be honest, I I don't know. I generally don't know. Um, okay, Windows update has just popped up um, and froze my game. That was sick. Okay, so let's postpone that by four hours and let's get drifting again. I don't know what the hell will happen there, but. I was in a nice flow then. I was in a nice flow. I didn't spin out for a while. So let's try and get back in that flow again. Uh, but yeah, I really, really am struggling in terms of tuning on the SP mod. Um, Project D, it just seems like you could drift the car kind of out the box. Uh, but SP mod, I don't know. Maybe I kind of have to get used to it, used to the physics and stuff. Um, but I don't know. Uh, let me know if anyone tunes their cars a specific way on this mod or not. Um, that would be nice to know. Uh, but yeah, if you could just let me know, that would be sick. Uh, but I am slowly getting warmed up, I suppose. Getting used to the car a little bit. Um, I went a little bit too much angle there. Uh, but yeah, I could take a little bit of power out of it. Um, I could change the weight ratios, but... It's kind of like once you get used to this car... You can get used to the throttle control, you get used to how hard you can throw it in and stuff, and then you get used to it, uh, which is which isn't too bad, like in terms of a tune, um, I haven't done too, ba too bad for my first kind of bass tune, if you know what I mean. Um, it's kind of things like that, that transition there, I suppose I was kind of hard on the throttle, I shouldn't be that hard, because uh, obviously when you're hard on the throttle in a transition, it's never going to end that well, unless you do have a very nice tune, so... It is holding a nice angle, like around these long corners, it's got the perfect gear in that I wanted. Uh, it doesn't bog down in gear 3 around the tight corners either, so that's pretty much spot on there. But yeah, it's, I think it's more about getting used to it this um, this episode. I'm not going to do too much tuning, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and listen to you guys. Um, I don't know what's happening here, why is it... Dropping frames just like randomly. All right, that was a okay, uh, but I'm gonna have a listen to you guys. Um, if you could leave comments about how you tune your cars in this, um, or maybe if you want to share your tune, uh, follow me on Twitter. Get at me on the um, like pictures if you want to picture your um, tune, because uh, it'd be a lot easier than explaining it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's so all up to you. Uh, let me know in the comments if it's easy to explain or something like that. Um, just do it there. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to know, because uh, obviously I'm not going to admit like I know what I'm doing, uh, because it it is a new kind of place to me um, in this SP mod, and I can't seem to get my car spot on, um, so I don't know if there is a key to unlock the door uh, with this mod or not. Uh, gear 3 kind of bogged down a little bit there, which is kind of annoying. So I don't know, yeah, I don't know if there is actually a key where I can unlock um, unknown pot potential, kind of, if you know what I mean. Uh, because transitions are a little bit iffy, uh, but I don't know if that's just down to the physics. Um, I got to take it a little bit lighter on the throttle because that was where I spun out last time there, and it wasn't too bad. I took it a little bit easier on the throttle, but I was still quite hard on the throttle, I suppose. I think it all depends on how and where you catch a wheel as well, because if you catch it kind of in the middle, uh, it's gonna, you're just not going to do it. So you need to counter stay pretty quick in this mod I suppose. Uh, like there, I, I caught it a little bit too early and then I went over. And so it's all about learning the physics as well. And that's pretty much what this episode is. Uh, we're just going to drift this and kind of get used to it I suppose. And then we can fine tune it next episode. Um, and then maybe take it online. But I tried to go online yesterday after I warmed up a little bit. And I couldn't get on any servers with the SP mod. And I went onto the JDM Factor forums as well. And there was a fix, uh, some sort of fix, and I put that on, and it still didn't fix it. I couldn't get in any servers with the SP mod, um, so I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm doing wrong, um, but that's that. Um, but yeah, this is. I'm not doing too bad actually. I was expecting it to go a lot worse than this. Um, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. 
let's just keep this going for now. Like I said, this is probably the one of the easiest tracks for learning. It's so flowy. Like you can just flow from corner to corner, kind of get used to transitions, get used to different kind of turns as well. Like this corner is a very long corner, uh, but then you've got to carry out the transition as well. Oh god, I fucked up. Like I'm kind of holding it a bit too long. I'm going in with a bit too much angle, where it gets to a point where it's just like, yeah, I'm not coming back, bro. I'm stuck at this angle now. <laughs> like here, I'm not coming back from that. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that's to do with the tune or it's the physics. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to hear your guys' um, input. That'd be pretty sick. That was a nice corner. I like that one. Okay, that wasn't bad. Yeah, I've heard these are the best tyres to use, so I started using these tyres. Um, they feel pretty nice in terms of drifting as well. Um, so that's pretty sick. Alright, let's keep this going. Let's finish off this lap. And I think that'll be about it for getting used to this. And then next episode, we're going to go in with a little bit of tuning, hopefully. Uh, but that's going to be down to you guys. Um, let me know what I should do, what I shouldn't do, and stuff like that. Um, so I can get this car pretty much spot on. Okay, we're nearly at the end of the lap now. Not too far to go. We've got this long corner. Oh, wow. Drop frames around this corner. Come on. I don't know why I'm dropping frames. It wasn't dropping frames at the start of the episode, like... Damn, son. Oh. oh, I really I need to reprogram my buttons because B used to be handbrake, and it isn't anymore. So I keep holding B to do handbrake, and it just does nothing. <laughs> yeah, that failed though. Um, so I need to reprogram my B button to be the handbrake. And yeah, that's all the laps done. Okay, so here's the car. Uh, our drifting went okay, uh, which is pretty sick. Um, the fitment is very nice on this car. Um, next episode, we're going to go in with the tuning, but that's down to you guys. Um, it's all up to whether you give me advice um, or I'm just going to have to YOLO it and kind of just find my own way through it. But the fitment is very nice. Um, I don't know if we're going to hit the arches or not. Um, I will have to try and find that out. Um, maybe drift in third person or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's looking pretty sick. Um, I like the way it looks and yeah it's been really enjoyable hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did give it a thumbs up and yeah don't know what happened there um, let's come off of that and yeah <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one peace